ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द ड्रग्स फॉर माइग्रेन सो व्हाट इज माइग्रेन माइग्रेन इज अ सीएनएस डिसऑर्डर ओके इट अकर्स बाय डिफरेंट कॉजेस जीन्स एनवायरनमेंट मेटाबॉलिज्म हार्मोन्स एंड ड्रग्स दिस फैक्टर्स कॉज द हाइपर एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द सीएनएस ओके सीएनएस गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड एज अ रिजल्ट release of cgrp okay what is cgrp that is calcitonin gene related peptide release occurs here which causes the vasodilatation now come to the profile axis then we will discuss one by one so the drugs are first one is the beta blockers which is the drug of choice next is anti convulsant drugs next is tricyclic antidepressants calcium channel blockers serotonin antagonist cgrp2 receptor blockers 5-HT1B1D agonist ergotamine and addition drug is anti-emetic because in migraine okay in migraine there is headache plus aura aura means associated symptoms okay associated symptoms in aura there is nausea vomiting so we will give antiemetic also now we'll see one by one so first one is a selective 5-HT1B1B agonist so what is this so normally what happen in migraine there is vasodilatation occurs so we need vasoconstriction in blood vessels there are receptor of 5-HT1B1B okay 1B1B so they will act okay so they will act on this receptor and cause will cause the vasoconstriction okay next is okay so drugs are tryptan family drugs are tryptan remember tryptan family and under these drugs are somatryptan resatryptan naratryptan zolmitryptan and probatryptan next is ergotamine alkaloids their function is also same so they are also 5-HT1B1D1B agonist there is the receptor 5-HT1B1D so they will also act here and cause the vasoconstriction here the drugs are ergotamine and dihydroergotamine next is CGRP antagonist so here you have to understand normally what happened suppose this is the a nerve terminal from here cgrp are released okay cgrp is calcitonin gene related peptide receptor sorry a peptide and here in this is a blood vessel okay this is a blood vessel and this is the smooth muscle layer in smooth muscle layer there is present of cgrp receptors these are cgrp receptors so they will act on this receptor and will cause vasodilatation by in synthesis of cam okay which causes smooth muscle relaxation and as a result vaso dilatation so now we have to stop this so what we will do cgrp antagonist so they will direct block the receptor so they will block the receptor and further no cgrp can bind the drugs is erenumab this is a monoclonal antibody okay monoclonal antibody okay so now this is the anti serotonin so anti serotonin directly acts on cns okay which stimulates the smooth muscles which leads to the vasoconstriction drugs under these are ketanserin ciproheptadine and methyl surgide
okay so now this is the tricyclic antidepressant so understand suppose this is the nerve terminal and here this is the effector cell so these are the 5 hydroxydeptamine okay 5 HD but some 5 HD reuptake occurs again to the neuron which is inhibited by the tricyclic antidepressants as a result in the neuron there is increase of 5 HD which result in the increase in the CNS okay in the CNS 5 HD increase in the CNS now this 5 HD acts on the vascular smooth muscle and cause the vasoconstriction okay and in CNS due to increase it cause sleep okay drug is amitriptyline amitriptyline okay next is calcium channel blockers so they block the calcium channel so this is the calcium channel from where calcium goes inside the cell now they will block the calcium channel okay and reduce the here it is reduce intracellular calcium 2 plus overload okay now this mechanism is not known yet mechanism mechanism is not known yet drugs under this are verapa male full resin okay next category is beta blockers here also the mechanism is not known yet okay drug is propanol but if you want to remember i mean mechanism just this is not a mechanism proposed this is as proposed so normally what happens alpha 1 constrict the blood vessels okay so if we block beta receptor non-selective what will happen unopposed action alpha 1 receptor will show unopposed action okay unopposed action so the vasoconstriction will increase this is a just a proposed mechanism not a confirmed mechanism okay next is anticonvulsant anticonvulsant the drugs under this is valproic acid gabapentin and topiramate okay they here have some prophylaxis effect in migraine okay effect in migraine and efficacy of anticonvulsant is lower than beta blockers now come to the analgesics so they are the simple analgesics which are used to kill the pain so paracetamol belongs to the acetaminophen family minophen family next aspirin is NSID next is metamizole is imidazole family codeine is a opiate next is antiemetics so as we told as a side as a symptoms of uh, aura we use antiemetics so metoclopramide is a prokinetic agent prokinetic agent domperidone is d2 and d3 receptor antagonist prochlorperazine is d2 receptor antagonist promethazine is h1 receptor antagonist okay so these are all the drugs of migraine so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel.